big win today came in Metairie. That's where Ricardo LeComp starts. He takes us to two signing days with very different moods. Next three to four years. The moment caught up to Rumble's Jamar Chase, the number one ranked player in the state according to 24-7 Sports. Louisiana State University. Choosing to go to LSU. It'll have me and Terrence Marshall. Um, you know, we're going to have it based around us, get the ball to us, you know, throw the ball more. They don't really have a, a true Leonard Fournette or uh, Darius guys. That's what made a big point in my commitment today. His Raider teammate, linebacker safety Aaron Brule, picked Mississippi State. Chase and Brule heading to the SEC to live out their college football dreams. The same celebration happened over at McDonough 35, but it was an athlete who didn't sign that stole the show. Devin Winters should have been on this stage, enjoying his time under the National Signing Day spotlight. But the 19-year-old Ron Eagles defensive lineman passed away unexpectedly three weeks ago at his home in Gentilly. His friends, safety Joseph Fauché, who inked with Arkansas, and receiver Lawrence Keyes III, who signed with Notre Dame, celebrated today, but also honored the memory of their lost teammate. He a big giant, like a gentle giant, literally. I mean, he, you'll think he's the sweetest person in the world. Like, I mean, I never saw him mad before unless we was on the field. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna keep him with me all the way through college, you know, and after that. I just wish he was here because we were just more than friends. Like, all us was, all us was brothers. And we always stuck together. And everything we gonna do is just for him. A signing day the Ron Eagles will never forget. Ricardo LeCompte, Eyewitness Sports.